I welcome you to this uh, computer studies uh, 2022 internal. Specifically, we are going to answer um, question one and question two from section A. So the first question, which is uh, question one A, saying, name one device that produces hard copy documents. So the answer here is going to be printer. Okay, the answer here is going to be printer. Apart from that one, you can say, photo copy photo copy now specifically the first priority here we are going to say printer because a printer can print out a soft copy into hard copy then the next one is our question b is saying give one similarity and one difference between ram and rom so before we answer this one let me try to to explain on this part here. So, as for RAM stands for a random access memory. So, RAM stands for random access memory. Then, ROM stands for read-only memory. ROM stands for read-only memory. Okay. So, now, what you need to understand here is that as for RAM, RAM, RAM can keep information temporarily. RAM can keep information temporarily. Then as for ROM, ROM, read only memory. Read only memory. This one can keep the information permanently unless you decide to read the information or the data in your computer or your phone. So now, these two, these two, they are storages, okay? These two are storages. So the first one is saying is similarity. So I'm going to say RAM and ROM are both storages. Then the differences, I'm going to say, the difference, I'm going to say um, ROM can keep the information permanent. ROM can keep the information permanent. While RAM can keep the information temporarily or temporarily. Okay. The next question, which is question C, is saying, explain the importance of regular updating an antivirus installed in, on a computer. Okay. Explain the importance of who regularly updating an antivirus installed on a computer. Yeah. So, this one here is calling two marks. So, the first one I'm going to say, once we update our antivirus, we are going to find that it is going to contain latest files which is going to combat uh, new viruses. So, contains new files which can, which can combat new viruses. Then apart from that one, I'm going to say when, once we update the antivirus, we are going to find that it is going to protect our computer from latest threats. So I'm going to say provide protection against latest threats. So that is our two marks. Then as for question uh, two is saying, an engineer uses the following code uh, in, in his what? Program. So an engineer uses the following code in his program. So the first one we have zero. So zero means uh, off. Then one means on. Then the code off, on, off, off appears on the screen. Then the first one question, the first question is saying, which is question A, write the code in binary form. Now, in this part here, binary form or binary numbers are just numbers like 0 and 1 only. They are just two numbers which the computer can understand and process only two, which are binary numbers, 0 and 1. So, now, when writing on this part here, we are going to follow uh, this one here, the code of OFF. On, off, off. Now, in this part in here, we are saying zero means off. So, on the first part here, I'm going to put zero followed by on. 
only I'm going to put one. Okay, so off I'm going to put zero, then on I'm going to put one. Then off I'm going to put zero. Since I know that zero means off, so I'm going to put zero. Another off I'm going to put zero. Then our answer is going to be zero, one, zero, zero. Okay. Then followed by the, the next question is question B. Question B is saying convert, convert one, zero, one, zero binary to octal. To octal. Now, octal means eight. Octal means eight. Octal means eight. So we are converting these binary numbers into octal. So the first thing here, I'm going to write the formula. So the formula that we are going to use here, it is um, two to the power n minus one, where n is the value of the, or let me say, where n will come from the position of the number. Like, for example, we have um, one zero, one zero. So the first zero here, it is on position number one. Then one is on position number two. Then zero, position number three. Then one, position number four. So our n here is going to come from the position of the number. Okay, so we have um, one zero, one zero. So here I'm going to say, I'm going to start with the first one, which is one. So I'm going to say one multiplied by two to the power, what is the value of n for this one here, the first one? So I'm going to say it is uh, four minus one plus zero multiplied by two to the power three, since zero is on position number three. So I'm going to say three minus one plus one multiplied by two to the power two minus one. These two is coming from the position number or the position where one is, plus zero multiplied by two to the power one minus one. So here I'm going to say four minus one, then the answer is going to be three. Okay, then apart from that one, zero multiplied by two. So here I'm going to say three minus zero, let me say three minus one, my answer is going to be two plus one multiplied by two to the power two minus one. So two minus one, I'm going to get one, plus zero multiplied by two, then one minus one, I'm going to get zero. Now, on this part here, you and I, we have learned about indices. So, so here we are having two to the power three. Two to the power three symbolize that we need to multiply two three times. So we are going to find that that t, once we multiply two, three times, we're going to get eight. Eight multiplied by one, I'm going to get eight plus. So two to the power two, we are going to get four. Four multiplied by zero, we are going to get zero plus. One, two to the power one, that's two. Two multiplied by one, we are going to get two. Plus, any number less to the power zero, it's one. One multiplied by zero, we are going to get zero. Then I'm going to say eight plus zero plus two plus zero, I'm going to get 10. Now this 10 e, it is in form of a base 10. This 10 e is in form of base 10. So now for us to convert this one e into octal, I'm going to divide 10 divided by eight. Since octal symbolize 10, or let me say octal symbolize eight. Or octal is equal to eight. So here I'm going to say 10, let me say eight into 10, I'm going to get one. Remainder, two. Okay, so one remainder, two. Now on this part here, we are going to consider the remainders. We are going to consider the remainders. Okay, so Eight can go into ten. How many times? One remainder two. Then from there now, I'm going to get 
1. So 1 divided by 8, I'm going to say 0. 0, remainder, or let me say um, 8 into 1, it is 0. Okay, it is 0, remainder, 0. Then our answer is going to be 0, 2. So in writing the final answer, start from, start from the last one, which is a 0, then followed by 2. So in writing the answer here, we take the remainders. Starting from the last one, which is 0, then going forward, which is 0, 2. So our answer here is going to be 0, 2. Then the last one, which is question C, is say, give one reason why data, why data is converted to binary in a computer. Ex give one reason why data is converted to binary in a computer, one mark. So here we say, a computer can only understand binary information only. Are we together? So here I'm going to say, because a computer can only understand binary information. So on this part here, a computer can only understand binary information and it can process it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.